So good afternoon guys. Today is March 6th, 2024. We've had some, a pretty big storm system came through. Dumped quite a bit of snow. You can still see the snow lingering in the hills here in the Applegate. So needless to say for about the past five, six days, haven't done any training tossing, just been doing a little bit of loft flying which even then they really don't want to fly too much because there's been snow on the ground and it's been raining really heavy and pretty much been dealing with that, watching lofts for leaks and stuff like that. But we are back in the Applegate. We are continuing up the course. We are here at Whistling Duck Farm, which is a little farm store here in a barn. I remember they started in this little shed here 16, 17 years ago, you could just walk into the barn at any any hours and buy apples or potatoes or onions or cabbage or tomatoes or whatever else they had. And it's grown into an actual store with a lot of different products, meat, vegetables, organic produce, stuff like that, dried mushrooms, all kinds of different stuff. So if you're ever out here in the Applegate Valley right off of 238 near the Williams Cutoff, stop in. Really good farming family, been in business here for a long time now. So we are tossing here from their parking lot, not the best spot. We've got a little bit of trees here and uh, some short power lines. Gonna try to aim them over that way. Home is that way. Obviously we are still here in the dog leg trying to get them to funnel through the Applegate Valley. There's still quite a bit of snow out here on these hills. We're working our way out that way. We need to get over those mountains to get out to the race course out toward uh, Nevada is that direction. Kind of southeast of us. But for now, we gotta get through the Applegate Valley. The hope is, is that the birds are gonna follow the valley down and funnel in between these hills in this low slope and hopefully not go up the sides but hopefully home is that way we are at ten and a half miles still a little bit of traffic going by but this is a ten and a half mile toss so we have jumped about four miles from the last toss site and that was the toss site where we had the the disaster where seven birds went missing rest of the team on the second toss did really well but we are six weeks out from racing season so we need to get going i was hoping to get some training done earlier in the week but obviously with the weather didn't want to do that it would be highly risky um, because it was snowing and very very heavy rain and high winds and it would have been just a bit much would have probably had a, a lot of losses so just kind of held off for a few days so today is the the first good day we've had, there's still a lot of snow in the hills in some spots. There's some clouds um, to our south, but uh, <coughs> pretty much a straight shot going home. Conditions are good. Wind is blowing a little bit this way, so there is a little bit of a headwind against them. So 10 and a half miles. Let's go, guys. And the blue check always hangs out. Let's go. And lands in the tree. And that's what he always does. So there's the team. Kind of dealing with those trees here nearby. Which is unavoidable. So they're actually out over the river valley at the moment. Can't even see them. I can see them buzzing these right here. They go turning. They are good and overhead. Get a little bit of height. So that is it guys, we will wait and see if they go home. So guys, I raced back to the loft, no birds yet. 
I suspect they're still learning their way back here. They got to work their way back. So we'll continue to watch for a drop. So stay tuned. So here's the first drop. Come on. Come on. Let's see how many we got. Two, four, six, eight. Smoky blue bars here. Blue check pied cock. Pied black widow. Looks like the blue bar with the star on the chest. The blue check with the green band. I do not see my pied yet, unfortunately. So that's eight out of 14 so far here right after I got back, probably five minutes after I got back in. So we'll keep watching. So guys, a little short update on the last toss. A couple days have went by now. I'm down two birds on that toss. I got a couple back late. One of the hens that came back was missing well over half her tail um, and it was out of the center. Uh, basically left two flights on one side and five on the other and about five on the other So I predict probably a bird of prey strike again on the toss Unfortunately, my blue bar pied hen that I had really high hopes for She didn't come back. So it's unfortunate, but uh, That is the update. So the race team is down to 12 unfortunately getting a little spooky um, surprisingly enough, the black widow cock, the black, he was with the first drop, even the blue check that lands early and always hangs back in the basket. He actually came back pretty fast. Um, going to continue training, but we got more bad weather coming. So, uh, I've got the birds on really small rations of just barley right now. Working on getting those body weights down, hoping to increase that speed. So that is it, guys. We will continue training. I've still got some other videos i got to do. I've got a lot of new ironclad birds coming in that I'm going to start working with. And we're going to have some video of those here soon. So see you guys later. Thanks for watching.